the first ever all-star race at Bristol with some twists. It's all about experimentation, right? We're racing in Tennessee, and look at the underglow on these things. I like it. Not a huge fan of the slid back numbers, although they're growing on me just a little. Early on, Kurt Busch spins off the bumper of Brad Keselowski, the two sending the one around. After racing his way into the main event, Matt Benedetto gets into the corner a little hot, scrapes the wall on his 21. His de facto Penske teammate Ryan Blaney wins stage one. I add parenthetically that it means nothing tonight. A couple restarts later, Kevin Harvick loses the lead to Chase Elliott after a little wiggle down low. A possible sign of things to come? Elliott holds on and wins the second stage. Again, he gets nothing. Check out this three-wide battle for second. Keselowski wins out in that one. But just a few laps later, Chase takes the lead back. That nine is strong and wins stage three as well. Crew chief Alan Gustafson looks pleased, huh? <laughs> the final 15-lap sprint. Kyle Busch is coming quick, but he just ran out of time. Sound that siren and show me the money. Chase Elliott wins the all-star race and gets a hearty $1 million paycheck. Light up the sky and light up the rear tires. He's burning her down for the first time in his career at Bristol and the All-Star Race as he joins his father, Bill, as the only other driver to win the event at a venue other than Charlotte. A bit of a snoozer, but I'm not going to complain too much because compared to what we've seen the past couple years at Charlotte, this was an upgrade for sure. We're back at it again this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway for 500 miles. Wish it was 400, but you can't always get what you want. This Sunday, green flag just set to fly after 3 p.m. on NBCSN. Looking forward to tuning in.